Hi there. Welcome to Exam AZ900, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Study Guide. This is episode 41, a special episode that I'm calling Content Reorganization. My name is Tim Warner. Here's the situation. When I created this study guide series, however long ago that was, I thought I would take the objective domain, which is the blueprint or table of contents of exam AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. I would list out every single skill discreetly and do a short training video on each one. What I didn't take into account enough is the fact that Microsoft Worldwide Learning, that's the division at Microsoft that does the certification programs, revisits the objective objective domain, which again is the table of contents, the skills measured for the exams, every two months, and they revisit the entire certification every year. Most recently, the blueprint was updated on May 28. However, there are rumblings that more significant changes are coming on September 15th. I'll show you what I mean by that in the upcoming demo. The long story short is that the updates to AZ900 have been occurring not randomly, because I'm sure those at Worldwide Learning have some method to their madness, but they're certainly not doing a good job of communicating these different updates that they're making. And so it's leaving me as a content creator kind of out in the cold. In other words, Microsoft is tweaking and tuning and messing with the outline too much. And each time they do that, it messes up my learning plan. If you look on the right side of this slide, you know that I've published the table of contents for the study guide in Excel Online. And the top level of the skills measured is called the functional group. Well, not too long ago, Microsoft totally changed the order of those functional groups and their names. So that means all of the 20 odd episodes that I had recorded, it's not that they're invalid but that the flow of my exam study guide doesn't match the exam anymore. So long story short, instead of complaining, what I want to do here is explain what we'll do and what I've actually done. I'm committed to you to cover every single exam objective on exam AZ900, but instead of trying to maintain that multi-level structure in the objective domain, which Microsoft keeps messing with, I'm just going to present a flat list of individual skills, as you can see it right. Now, the issue with that is that over time, as the AZ900 blueprint continues to change with no previous announcement most of the time, there may be a couple of these episodes that I've made that may no longer be on the exam. However, I do believe it's still worth your while to study those videos because it's all to your benefit. Because after all, the reason why you're earning the Azure Fundamentals badge is that you like Azure. Azure, right? <laughs> so it seems to me learning a little extra is a good thing. All right, so now let me take you out into a brief demo and I'll just walk you around. Okay, hopefully you're familiar with this page in the Microsoft Docs Library, the Exam AZ900 exam page. This is our source of truth for the exam. And you'll notice that right under the exam title, there are any important announcements that Microsoft wants to give us. There's a COVID-19 related announcement, but then right below the red text, the content of this exam was updated on May 28th. Please download the skills measured document to see what's changed. Well, I'm recording this for you on July 3rd, 2020. 2020, so it's been a couple months since May. We scroll down the page a little bit, we come to Skills Measured, and we can click the link to download the exam skills outline, which we'll do right now. This is a PDF file, and the format for these is a little bit non-standard, unfortunately. It's supposed to give you a blueprint of exactly what's going to be on the exam, but you'll find that some exams, as Microsoft keeps changing and tweaking them, presents the old version and the new version of the exams in different ways. It's pretty frustrating, to be perfectly honest honest with you. So what this is saying here is the exam was updated at the end of May and they're going to do a red line it looks like where they show revision marking where we can see the changes that were made on that date. If we scroll down we get down again to the first level of the outline called the functional group and then we have the objective and then line items for each skill and that's how I originally created this course like I said. So for this describe the benefits and considerations of using cloud services I would take each one of these items and cover them in a separate lesson. That was my big idea. Well, if I scroll past the first 
print of the objective domain, we come to this red text that says the exam guide below shows the changes that were implemented. That means that if you were just reading up here, you were spending hours studying up here, you're already out of date. That's what I mean, that I've got some heavy complaints going on here. I'm an advocate for you as a Microsoft certification candidate. I care. That's the bottom line. Unfortunately, that's what they're doing here. So here's where we start to see some of the red line. And it's misleading, in my opinion, because at first you think, well, understand was the old verb, and now it's describe. And that's what looks to be most of the changes, but it actually goes far beyond that. Microsoft has renamed and reorganized a lot of these sections, and they've done a little bit of striking through. Most of the content is all here. Notice that instead of SQL Data Warehouse, we have the updated product name Azure Synapse Analytics. You already know what that is if you've been following the study guide sequentially. So it actually becomes kind of a pain over time to see what's changing. Your horizon for taking and clearing this exam may be as short as a couple weeks, or maybe it's as long as several months. So it's worth your while to download this document on a regular basis to see if there's been any changes made to it. Coming back to my online study guide, this is the way it looks now. And if you were watching some of my earlier episodes, you might naturally feel confused, like why this doesn't look anything like the original one that was divided into sections. And again, to repeat, I've done that intentionally to make sure that I can keep up with all of the content on AZ900 and be independent of any reorganization that Microsoft Worldwide Learning does on their side. So as you see, we've just got a flat list here of episodes. These are all specific discrete subjects. And I've got to bring it up to date a little bit here because I've actually recorded episodes 39 and 40. I just have to edit and publish them. And today we're doing 41 and next we're doing artificial intelligence. And then my idea is, again, in the coming days and months, as Microsoft continues to add new stuff to the exam objectives, I will just simply add to this list to make sure that it's always current. I hope that works for you. It's about the best I can do. Last thing is that these rumors I keep hearing about September 15th, 2020, that Microsoft Worldwide Learning is going to heavily revise AZ900 again. I can't find anything official for Microsoft, but I see various rumblings here. For instance, as you can see on screen, I've done a Google search for AZ900 September 15th, and we get this very legalistic language here. Note, the updates that were announced prior to April 15th will be implemented on September 15th. And of course, that doesn't make any sense. You mean the May 28th updates are different from these ones that you supposedly announced prior to April 15th, but you're going to implement those on September 15th? Personally, and this is just my own personal opinion, I think Microsoft took all of those bigger updates and they slam dunked it all together in the vicinity of May 2020. And I don't think we're going to see anything change on September 15th, but let me repeat it one final time. If we do, I promise you, I will add that new content to my AZ900 Azure Fundamental Study Guide. Thanks very much for hanging with me. I often get questions, when is the next episode going to be posted? Where are the rest of the episodes? Again, I just want to repeat, I publish these episodes as I make them. And because I have a full-time job, I work as a trainer for Pluralsight full-time. I post these videos only when I have spare time outside of work hours. And that's not very consistent. I do thank you for your patience, though, and absolutely appreciate you for your support. The next content episode of this series is going to be on artificial intelligence, or AI. AI products in Microsoft Azure. It's one of my favorite subjects. I look forward to teaching you that. In the meantime, you can find me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. All of my Pluralsight courses are at timw.info forward slash ps, and my website is techtrainertim.com. Happy studying. I'll see you around.